Alliance for Youth put on a youth craft show on Saturday to give young individuals in the community the opportunity to show and sell the products they are passionate about. You know, you might think having a youth craft show doesn't really have to do anything with preventing substance abuse, but it does because it gives them uh, a reward. It, it, it's a protective factor. It gives them a reward for, for pro-social interaction. They get a lot of feedback and validation from their community, but they also get to connect and get validation from their peers, which is huge. The craft show is a way for the youth to interact with other kids and people in their community while also expressing their creativity and getting positive feedback from the experience. One of the vendors, 15-year-old Camden Rep, began making his products during the pandemic when he decided he wanted to do something positive and useful with his time. I just wanted a new hobby or something, so I decided to look up something, and I found this, and I was like, that's really fun. So I kept doing it and escalated this. And so now I just do a whole bunch of stuff, and I make my own stuff up. The main goal for the Youth Craft Show is that all the kids who participate as vendors and sell their products walk out of the event with more confidence, more experience, and feedback to learn and grow from. This is my second year involved in this craft show. Um, I really like this craft show just because of the opportunity that it gives youth in this uh, community to kind of get into the craft show world, and it's a really great community. Um, Alliance for Youth is just amazing to be able to put this on for all the youth. Um, a free event for everybody to come in and just kind of display and showcase everybody's crafting abilities. Amelia spends a lot of her free time from school working on different products such as her handmade quilts, but her favorite craft is her crochet octopus. This is my little octopus. <laughs> um, so I made him, he's got nine parts originally um, with his head and he's got eight, eight little ten tentacles. tentacles. Um, it takes me about two days. Two days yeah. In Great Falls, I'm McKenna Holman, MTN News.